everybody. I'm Lauren Kennedy Brady, and we are so excited about Fun Home at Theater Raleigh, which opens August 25th. And I am here with Angela Trevino and Christopher Gurr, the stars of Fun Home. You guys, if people don't know about Fun Home, and if they don't, where have they been? <laughs> but can you tell us a little bit about the show? You want to start, Angela? You want me to start? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> well, um, it's about you, so you're you right, should you're start. Right, you're right. We follow um, a lesbian cartoonist named Alison Bechtel, who I am playing, um, and she is she is going to tell you the story of um, her growing up and the story of her father. That's the central relationship. Yeah, is between Allison and her father, and I play her father. Yeah. So, it's but like, we but we don't actually have any scenes together. That's right, because it's a memory piece. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She's trying to like piece together like what happened in my dysfunctional family. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, I think it's yeah. a little bit of a like how, correct me yeah. if I'm wrong, no. I won't speak for your character, no, no, but here I go. Um, <laughs> that she's going, how did I end up here? How did he end up there? It's one of those, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think that's so, it, it is such a beautiful piece. It is. Um, the music, oh. Daphne too seems like I mean, it's just so. I mean, phenomenal. the entire the entire play is basically underscored. Yeah. yeah, and I say play because it is the book. Yeah, could stand alone. Yeah, easily. It was a finalist for the 2015 Pulitzer Little Prize tour. and won Best Musical in Tony. 2015. Yeah, and a first time that was Lisa Crone's first book for a musical, and she won the Tony. So, so there you right go. Right out of the gate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say it's not beginner's luck. No, no, not with no, her. No, they're incredible, and what an awesome dynamic female Those, team. Those two women, yeah. I've been lucky. I've, I've actually been in a room with the two of them. You have? I, yeah. I, well, I was actually part of the first reading of Fun Home when Fun Home had an ensemble. I had no idea. Uh -huh. It was one of the first things I did when I came to New York. And at the end of the week, the big decision that was made was there is no ensemble oh, in Fun well, Home. Oh, there you go. So, and that was, <laughs> but I got to be in the room with the two of them wow. talking about this piece. And it's the smartest room I've ever been in my life. Why is it important that we're telling the story now in, in the world in which we're living? I've known this piece for almost 10 years, more than that, I guess. And this time, like literally a month ago when I sat down with the script again, it hit me in a way that it had never hit me before. That's so cool. it's about where you are in your life. Like, are you Allison? Are you dad? Yeah, are you little Allison? Yeah. I know, because we've got the kid versions of her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to be able to see themselves in the show and not realize it. <laughs> Like, not realize it going into it. And they might not guess who they're going to see yep. themselves yep. as. When yep, they yep, see, yep. like, oh, oh, those are the characters. I'm a dad, so I should identify with the dad. You may not. You may end up yes. identifying with the mom, the little girl, yeah. the brother. You don't know. Because of what the circumstances of their experiences are. Yeah. Alison Bechtel, who you play, this is based on her graphic novel. Um, she sort of unintentionally became iconic because of something called the Bechtel Test, which she wrote in, I guess, a cartoon about um, these three sort of requirements of sh why she would go see a play or a movie, mm -hmm. which are, um, it has to be a conversation between two women who have character names right. and that they're talking about something besides a man. Yep. It's so interesting how that really is a tool that's used and, now. And I knew that term before I knew who, Alice who she oh, really? was, yeah. before I'd read the graphic novel, and way before this play came into being. Yeah, but that was how I knew that name, and I was like, is, is there a connection between the Bechdel test and this? Yeah, and amazing. Yeah, turns and out yes, there is. there is. Oh, yeah. So does Fun Home the Musical pass the Bechdel <laughs> test? <laughs> I think it does. I think we have determined <laughs> on a technicality yes. that it, but it does. It yes. just makes it under the yeah. wire. Tim was a 
student of mine. He told me that. <laughs> that is so and, cool. And I always held him in my heart as, what you know how you do, you know, mm -hmm. one of the bright ones. He's like, well, he's smart. Yeah. He won't just be an actor. Watch him. Absolutely. I mean, we pretty much have him every year. I love I that. I can trust him. Mm -hmm. He's so smart, so creative. He's a true collaborator. Yes. yes. It's and amazing. the actors always love him. He creates a beautiful, special room where everybody feels like they can do their best work. And, and the yeah. kids are so articulate. Oh, my God. They are it's so great. It's a really so special wise. Cast. I'm yeah. so glad they didn't get too tall and outgrow these roles. Because <laughs> We're like, going to have to put a brick on one of them. But other than that. <laughs> I'm very excited about this piece, and I feel grateful that you guys have, um, 18 months later, we're still willing to come right. and, and participate in this production. So thank you guys so much. Thank and you. everybody come see Fun Home, yes. August 25th through September 5th. Yes.